Hey everyone, welcome back to more XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We're continuing the campaign, working on the last of the three factions that we know about to investigate. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there is another one because of the hints at a group called Atlas, but we'll see as we get through. Uh, things are getting kind of crazy in the city. We'll take a look at that in a second. I realized afterwards, the last one, that um, we got a new epic shotgun and I forgot to look at it. So, let's take a look here. We currently have the Lonely Herald here, which gives me run and gun. So it's uh, enhanced shotgun plus one. I think it's the same no matter what. So is that four to six? Enhanced shotguns four to six. We also have callow ember. Grants the rapid fire ability. So same thing four to six. Rapid fire. Okay, twice in a row minus fifteen percent for each shot. I already can do that without anything because of the uh, reflex grip that I have, so that's kind of pointless. I'll keep the Lonely Herald. They don't look any different, do they? Yeah, not really. All right, I'll keep running gun. Um, I might, I guess I might as well go ahead and give the other shotgun to Godmother. Not that I actually use her much, but uh, they didn't change the way your shotgun looks. It should have. Let's go back. Yeah, her shotgun looks exactly the same. We swapped it out, but it looks the same. There's a hand shotgun. There's Cattle Ember. Alright, yeah, whatever. Does yours look different here? Actually, you're not even holding it. Alright, maybe it just doesn't show here. That's something I kind of wish the armor looked a little differently. We've got the max upgraded armor. We've upgraded the guns, but they look all the same. The epic guns look slightly different, but uh, not much. All right, so we're kind of in a bad situation potentially on the map here again. Um, so we now have two areas of the map that are out of control. We'll probably have a chance to do something about it. I am working on a way to reduce unrest everywhere in the city by one uh, as one of our spec ops. That'll be done, I don't know if it'll go off the end of today or tomorrow. So I don't know if that'll actually work in these areas that are maxed out. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do anything here because we're going to go for the actual story mission. So this will go up by one, but that'll get taken out by the Spec Ops mission. So we're going to have to do this. It'll stop this from maxing out. It does leave us at two that are maxed. We'll see if that unrest dropping will change anything. I really can't do anything about it. I do have a decent amount of intel. I've got a tech at three, a finance at three... I don't know. I've got a security three here. I don't know if getting everything up to three actually unlocks anything or not. Let's see how much what does it actually give me. Extra Illyrium. One operation reveal point. Bonus reward on district missions. That's pretty decent. So that's technology. Uh, finance. Minus one district unrest for completing situations. Okay, so that's that bonus. So that's technology and finance, and then it's just security, right? What does security give me? Minus two district unrest every Friday. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good. Um, well, in that case, I think we just ticked over, though. Yeah, we're already on, we're on Sunday, so it's going to be a while before it ticks over. We could upgrade. Um, you're going to be down to zero. We could go ahead and upgrade this one to rank three, and then on Friday it'll drop some more, just kind of automatically by itself. So that's kind of tempting. These don't, I don't have any missions that are ticking down in time, so this wouldn't have an effect now if I upgraded that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's tempting to do that, but I can hold off and wait on the intel as long as I do it before Friday. Of course, I'll totally forget before then. All right, let's take a look at the mission. I've got a good team here worked out. I do have Zephyr available, so I could swap her out, but Zephyr is maxed out, I think, and Torque is not. Let me just double check that Zephyr is maxed out. I'm pretty sure she is. Yeah, yeah, we got Reaper with her. That was her max one. That's right. She's decent. I could potentially swap Torque out for her, um, 
but she doesn't do a ton of damage. I haven't found anything that upgrades the damage that she does, really. Okay, let's take a look at the story mission. Progeny cracked into an advent tech vault, the place we store things. Best left behind closed doors. They fled to nearby apartments with some secured cases. Don't let them get away. So we'll drop the unrest. We'll get some credits in Alarium. There are sorcerers and acolytes. Um, probably I'm going to have to grab them and get away. I know I have somebody idle. Nothing I can really do about it. Um, I think we've got everybody set the way we wanted to before. Extra shots. Aim. We've got the superior stocks. We've got the reflex grip so I can shoot twice. Extra shots. I think we're pretty well equipped. It looks like I could give Torque something else, though. Got a med kit. Um, you know, I are running into a lot of heavier stuff. Let's just give you the frag grenade, because why not? You don't actually have one. Everybody else has a grenade, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Let's do that. So we'll see how bad this mission is. They've been getting a lot tougher for sure. That's recent recent missions anyway. They either go off really well or kind of a mess. I had a, a pretty good one. He cracked into an old Advent tech vault and took a case of we still don't know what they took, but they hold up in these apartments. Yeah, we're gonna take super heavy weapons into apartments. Great idea. But yeah, we had a, a pretty good mission with Verge um, a while back where we mind controlled a couple of berserkers. That was a lot of fun. All right, enemies deal minus one damage, or everybody gets aim, and first unit through is guaranteed to land the shot. Well, I think we're going to go that way, probably. Um, let's actually go first, because he's liable to stop people from taking actions. Uh, it's encounter one of three, so I'll probably hold off using a grenade yet. Although, does everybody have a grenade? You've got a grenade. You've got a grenade. Okay, you've got a ceasefire bomb. That's probably less useful. Yeah, let's go ahead and burn that. And we've got the other grenades. We can actually toss a grenade for each one of the encounters. All right, let's go for it. Me. Somebody was immune. Are those donuts? Alright, Surprised Acolyte. Aggressive Sorcerer. Aggressive Acolyte. Well, I have a good chance to just erase you off the board, so let's try for that. That was not enough damage. Alright. Go for the aggressives. That's a pretty good chance to hit. I'm hoping the other two will have a chance to hit the Sorcerer. Let's finish you off. Both the other two, we're just going to hammer the Sorcerer. Got AP rounds here. We'll also shred that armor, which means the last shot will get through without a problem. Didn't do that much damage, though. Yeah, probably not going to do enough damage to take out the Sorcerer. Definitely not. And apparently we didn't disable your gun, either. Let's panic to Sorcerer. Okay. Do something to one of your buddies. Okay, that's not good. So that's... Uh, I don't know what those guys are called. What are they? Uh, Resonance. Yeah, they boost the psychic damage everybody else around. I'm not sure if taking them out will undo that. So what do we have? Clear the area, prevent them from escaping with the Archon control collars. Ooh, they're trying to take control of Archons. Okay. But I don't see where they can get away. It's not really indicated like where they're actually going to try to exit from. Oh, must be there. Okay. So I can see those two are highlighted. That means they're probably going to try to bail. Well, unfortunately, 
There isn't a whole lot I can do. We could go up and bash him, take a shotgun blast at somebody else. But if they just run for the exits, there's not much I can do about it. So I'm going to Adrenal Surge. Go ahead and smash you. As long as it's not a run, we can just hit you and still take a shotgun blast. Okay, who do I see? Apparently I can see you through the door, which is interesting. Hmm. Are you the one that's trying to bail? Yes, you are. Okay. So, Acolyte number three, let's try to shoot you down through the door. See if we get lucky. Nice. Sleepy time for you. Now, if I can get in position, I could just grab the Resonant and squeeze him to death. I do have a couple people here that are going to go next. The Acolyte and the Thrall. We could also just try to take them out. Do I prioritize the ones going next, or do I prioritize them from escaping? I think if they escape, they'll just make it into the next part, so it'll just make things harder as it goes. And that's not cover, and I don't see you from there. Okay, well, I, apparently I can't see you anywhere. It's not indicating. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can see him at all, but it could just be something's bugged out. Well, I could just grab you. Yeah, let's just uh, squeeze you to death here. Just go to sleep. Take you out of action. You don't get to do anything, and you're going to die soon. Okay, so the ceasefire did actually do something. He had to reload before he took a shot. Verge has no shots. I'm trying to look and see where I can actually see anything, but there really isn't any good cover anywhere. Here, can I see anybody? Repositioning. Okay, we've got chances. I'm gonna see if I can stun the resonant, stop him from taking an action. My mind over yours. Nice. No actions for you. So the panicked one is next. I don't think you're gonna try to run. Let's try to clear that room in the back would be ideal. Um, let's see. So I could go ahead and give someone else an action here. Do I want it to be Verge? We've got a good chance to get a shot, or we can just charge in there with Axiom and shoot somebody in the face. It is just one action, so it's just a shot. I could run and gun and move in, um, or I could just take one shot with Axiom. I don't know if I'm going to have good vision. Verge might have a better chance at a shot. Let's give Verge a chance. What do we got? 100%. 86. 74. I think we'll be able to deal with you. It's these guys down here that are a bit more of an issue. You're going next. I wouldn't mind taking your cover away if I can hit you. I wouldn't mind killing the Resonant before you get a chance to go anywhere also. Is this once permission? Yeah, just once permission. Alright, let's shoot the Resonant, I guess. And... Hmm... Got kind of a crummy shot. We could just drop an Overwatch somewhere, too. Hmm. 
maybe lock him down. But I mean, Axiom can go finish him off, honestly. So we could also do an Overwatch the other way. Let's see what I can see. Not much. I'll shoot anything that moves. Do it just in case. See Thanks. if the sorcerer comes my way. Still panicked. Okay, it's changing who's going to try to get out, apparently. So now, it looks like it's just you. Alright, I don't even have to move. I can just shoot you twice. Let's see if I can get a shot in. Is there anything else I want to do? I mean, it could, I could definitely get him nice and flanked. Maybe increase my chance to see. Eh, not really. Take the door. It's not showing me that I have vision of anything. Maybe it's just freaking out. Usually it'll show you with the uh, little symbol right there when you're looking at where you're going to move on who you can see from that position. But it's not doing that. I guess I will reposition. Now I've got tons of shots. I mean, you're going the soonest. Crummy chance there. Let's try to hit this guy before he takes an action. See if we get lucky. Sleepy time. Um. In their head, there burns a light. I have no idea what's going on. All right, let's just finish the squeeze on you. It's yep. not your day. Good night. How did you manage that? Man, I've only got the one target. Disappointing. Could just reload and take out the resonant, probably. I don't have anybody I can really do any psychic stuff on. I could mind flay. Um, I still don't remember if that ends my turn, though. It only does a little bit of damage. I'm better off shooting, probably. I could also flashbang the sorcerer, which should stop whatever's going on here. I'm not sure I like it, whatever it is. Could also just start hammering the sorcerer. I can't do any psychic things to the sorcerer. Uh, let's reload and... Ammunition I don't know why the camera went over there. Sure, whatever. Let's hit the sorcerer and also shred her armor. Deflected. Oh, okay. You let your buddy die for you. Okay, gotcha. Trying to get away? It didn't indicate that that door was an escape route, but it certainly looked like he was running for that door. But it didn't tell me that that door was escape. It showed me there, but not there. Well, I'm glad we set up that overwatch. Just gunned you down like an idiot. Uh, the sorcerer is in good shape. Is panicked, though. Okay, I should be able to see you from here. Take a shot. Next time I'll aim for the soft parts. The goal is not to hit the armor. I'll help you leave. I am hit. But Good dodge. Now you pay it back. Yep, now Axiom shoots you multiple times in the back. Yep, we've got two rounds. Two rounds equals two shots. Um, you have ammo, how come you can't shoot? I've got the shot left. I have a reflex grip. Hmm. 
Why am I not able to shoot? Hmm, that's weird. I've got my running gun. I didn't change out anything. It didn't swap my stuff out, did it? I'm pretty sure it was all there when we checked in the loading screen. So I've got a reflex grip that lets me shoot. Yeah, it must be there because I still have an action. But why do I suddenly not have vision anymore? I've got a shot left. That's super weird. I have no idea what's going on. All right, well, in that case, I guess I'll just go smash you in the face. Hello, neighbor. So much for you. All right, nobody got away. That's a very interesting poster on the wall. All right. So we have units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Pretty good. Successful shots will stun. Also quite good. First unit guaranteed to land a shot. Successful shots will crit. Um, I think I'd rather have everybody in Overwatch uh, and then stunning people. Axiom. Let's go with... Uh, I may not want to toss a grenade at this point, because if we shoot people, we'll stun them. So we'll just go for a bunch of shots. So we'll hold off on the grenade, and we'll just take shots. Hello! Alright, we've got a couple aggressive, but if I can hit them, they'll be stunned. There's a resonant... And an Acolyte, looks like, that are aggressive. Best chance to hit aren't as important. Someone else probably could have a shot at that Sorcerer. I'm going to go for the Resonant. It's about an 80% chance. Nice. So you are stunned. another resonant over there so we're supposed to be stunning with our shots so let's nail the sorcerer as well just spread some damage around pretty bad chance on the aggressive acolyte I could just poison him could try to go for a kill on the thrall I don't think I need to go for a kill, although it is showing the Sorcerer is still listed as surprised while the Resonant is stunned. Where were you? Yeah, you're still listed as surprise, not stunned. Maybe we'll just try to go for you and get a kill. Because I'm not sure you're actually stunned like you should be. Alright, go for the kill. I think we'll try to go for the stun shot here. If it actually works the way it's supposed to. That was a graze, so maybe that didn't work. Okay, so clear the area, prevent them from escaping. We've got a bonus thing to collect some evidence in a few turns. So they're trying to get out there, but there is a door here too, which makes me wonder if they'll try to get out either one. Uh, who's highlighted? The Thrall. And the other Thrall. Looks like they're going to try to go. Alright. Got something I can blow up. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. All right, I should be able to take two shots. We'll see, maybe, if my shot chances are good. 
Got a few okay ones. Yeah, let's not blow that up. Let's try for the resonant. Okay, sleepy time. Yeah, and now I can shoot twice. I don't know what was going on with that. My best chance is the Acolyte. If I hit him, I'll drop him, so let's go for it. Nice. Two sleepy times. That's a little worse than sleepy time, although he did have the, uh, the good manners to die on the tarp we laid out for him. Or they laid out for him. All right. Thrall number two is going to go... I think we'll try to stun him. And then we'll take a shot at somebody else. Okay, no actions for you. There's really only one that's close to death. I could kill the Sorcerer with Serial and then take another shot, but I think we might have better chances, although I could just kill him. Try to kill the Acolyte, potentially. I mean, I could try to kill the Sorcerer and then go for the Acolyte, and then maybe the Thrall last, but I might need Serial on the last part of this. We might run into a bunch of nasty stuff. I also don't particularly like the Resonance much. Sorcerers are probably a bit more dangerous. Let's just take you out of the equation. Save my cereal. I'm always expecting things to get much worse in the last part. Nice and stunned. Just agrees. Don't you do it. Ow. That was unpleasant. You should have ducked. Okay, well. Resonance gonna go next. I could definitely grab him. 95% chance I could grab him and bind him up. He won't be able to do anything. Take him out of action. Let's do that. Time for a face -to -face. And the camera does weird stuff again, so we don't get to see him get twisted up. Resonant gets no action. Alright, so I could give somebody else an action again. We could go with Verge and maybe try to gun somebody down, do some damage. We could move Axiom out front, maybe do a smash on the Acolyte, if he can reach. Let's do that. Verge took a shot, so let's see if we can get them to refocus on Axiom a little bit and put him out front. So I'm just going to go for a smash here. Yeah, there's a little bit of cover here. Let's take it. Down you go. Okay, I could heal up Verge, or we could take a shot at the Brute. I think we'll just do a heal real quick. Okay, we got our health back. Yeah, I'm already in position where I can do my adrenal surge, smash, and shotgun. I can also shotgun twice. We've got two rounds left. One would take out the thrall. Smash might take out the thrall. But I've got a few people that can act before the other guy. Let's see if we can just drop this dude. And we could follow it up with another shot, even though that'll be all our rounds. Ooh, a miss. 
91% miss. Not enough. I call shenanigans. Now let's do stupor. Try to stun you. Okay, it took one of his actions away, but not both. And the Thrall's going to get up here. So I'm going to go ahead and Mind Flay, because it'll actually stun him. Um, and we'll be able to bring him back for questioning. We'll also damage the other guy that we just stunned a little bit. You're just going to have to keep squeezing. No longer I always forget that that does a bunch of damage and then screws up people's uh, mental state. So she got hurt and that panicked her as well, which is kind of irritating. I'd like to get this. I can do it, but then I'm kind of exposed. If I just drop this guy, I don't think we actually get the additional rewards. We've got to actually get it in the time limit we have before we take anybody, take all of them out. Which is a bit stupid. I think they just automatically give it to you. Or we can heal up Torque. And then maybe take a shot. You know what? I don't even know what it is. Let's just Let the spray do its work. get everybody in good shape for the last part of this. I didn't ask for this. Yeah, but you need it. And I could chain shot, but I might need that in the last one. So let's just do some damage. Crit. Miss. miss such a big target? Need to reload. Okay, no he's going to try to bail. I've got no ammo. I'm going to get this before it goes away. And you're out of bashing range. And I'll just reload. Got plenty of other actions to take this guy out. Everybody else is... Yeah, everyone's at full health, so we're all good to go for the last part. Bye-bye. Another hostile death. Alright. Nobody got away. Okay. The vault is missing Archon command callers. And yes, that's as bad as it sounds. Archons, under progeny control, we have to stop them. All right, first unit through the entrance is guaranteed to land their shot, or first unit through the entrance is marked. Uh, I guess we'll go here. Axiom. So we probably want to throw something. Verge, let's flash bomb. Go for it. Okay, a couple aggressive. Let's see what my shot chances are. And a few Archons, too. Alright, there's an Acolyte, Disoriented, Aggressive. And a Thrall. Let's see if we can take out you. It's not showing your health here. That wasn't enough, was it? Archons have a couple armor. I don't remember them having two armor in the game. Uh, let's see if I can nuke you. 
Okay, two people kind of wounded, but not dead, which is a bit irritating. I've got stocks on the submachine guns, though. Let's just wipe these aggressive two out. What the heck is that? They're bolting. Don't let them escape with those cases. Okay. Five, we're gonna try to evac. Um, I'm not sure if that means they're gonna evac out the window. What? Yeah, okay, there's an evac point there. Who's running? Right now, the resonant and the thrall. What in the heck is this? It looks like a giant beetle or something. Um, do one of the alien races sleep on rocks? Is that what's going on here? All right, Archon is going to go soon. Unfortunately, the Resonant did boost the side damage of everybody else. If we can beat the crap out of everybody in here and just set up firing lines and just gun everybody down trying to come this way for the evac, maybe we'll be okay. I do have a... Uh, Acid grenade. Can't quite hit two targets with. Well, I think I'm just going to go bash and shotgun the sorcerer. Good to go. Let's go there. In the party. Okay, and the other thing I want to do before I forget is we'll use the team up because we're on the last part of this. Um, who wants to go sooner than they're planned? How about we have Terminal go next? Kind of speed up our actions a little bit. Okay, shotgun's not going to finish you. Bad chance to hit you, so we'll just work on the sorcerer. Deflection. That's some tough armor. At least you didn't miss. Okay, I do have cover. Got a flashbang grenade. They are kind of bunched up back here. If I can hit. I was hoping I could get three of them. Yeah, so I can. All right, what I'm going to do is give Axiom another action. Let him shotgun down that sorcerer. Hopefully. And just to mess with these guys... If I can find the spot again, I'm gonna flashbang them. That'll stop them from moving as fast. Some Decrease their chance to hit as well. And I've got an okay shot. Let's take that. Damn it. Miss, but I've got the stock, so still three damage. You actually got pretty far there for being disoriented. Taking fire, but it is poorly aimed. Okay, thrall number eight, we've got to stop because he's trying to get out. Got quite a few actions before then. Uh, who else is trying to go? Resonant four. Probably shoot him. Let's see if I can stun the Acolyte. 90% chance. And I think he resisted. Yep. All 
Alright, let's see if I can just kill you. If I get lucky with the damage. That's not very nice. Torque, what would you like to do? We could throw some poison back here. Could throw some poison back over there, too. How about we poison both of you two? Take this. Or somehow not. Okay, got both of them. Could definitely gun you down. Hmm, got an okay chance on grabbing the resonant. I wouldn't mind trying for that. 75% chance. I just missed a 90% with something else, but uh, yeah, let's try that. Ooh, miss. Disappointing. Failed a 90% and a 75%. I do want to try to nail this Acolyte, because that'll let me get Verge back. If I just let things go until his turn, he'll get slammed into the ground. But it looks like I'm not going to have a lot of choice. Because I need to gun down this Thrall, but pretty much anybody can do that. So Terminal could do that. Yeah, I could just run right out here and shotgun him. I could also run and gun right next to him and shotgun him. That might be the better call. And the terminal can just gun down the Thrall before he gets out. Yeah, let's do it. I'm so ready for this. Just go right next to him. Let's see if we can just drop you. Nice. Verge is good to go. Alright. Nobody's hurt, which is slightly amazing. I kind of need to gun you down. There really isn't anything else for me to do. It's not showing my gun, so I have no idea how much ammo I've got. It's a common thing that pops up in this, and I don't know why, but uh, we'll live with it. Just kind of a consistent glitch. At least it's not like a huge deal. Archon is preparing to unleash a devastating attack on their next turn. Downing or disabling the Archon will cancel the attack. Well, I mean, I can certainly try to stun the idiot. I might want to move. And then try to do it. Or I could just move and shoot him. Not going to do that much damage, though. I shoot you about half health. Torque might be able to finish you off then. Yeah, let's do it because it is going to shred one of his points of armor. Good hit. So if I move out here. See what kind of a shot I've got. 68 is not great. I can't get a guaranteed hit because I've got Hail of Bullets. I just almost never use it. 4 to 6. I've got to do 5 to kill him. Let's go Hail of Bullets. Make sure we hit. Just hoping it's enough damage. Nope. Oh, you're healing your buddy. That's not very nice. Alright, you both want out. 
I get it. But I can't allow it. So you're going to get a chance to go... I've only got one shotgun blast here. So it's possible I can do enough damage. I've got to do six because of the armor. Alright. That takes care of that. And I can't make it to him. Can't toss a grenade through the wall. Alright. Just come on back. Or should I just reload? I guess I'll just reload here. Weapon reloaded. We just have the one dude left, and he's kind of in a bad spot. I can't really get a good shot here, unfortunately. Nobody needs healing. Maybe I'll just drop an overwatch. I could move in a bit closer and then overwatch or try to shoot. Because I know where he's going to try to go to get away. Yeah, it's a really terrible shot chance here. So let's just lock down this position. I'll shoot anything that moves. We are counting. Okay, Verge can see you. That means Verge can kill you. Your thoughts are mine. Yeah, you're doing nothing. And now I kill you. One less hostile. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, just lightly wounded, not too bad. Command Caller secured. I'm not cleared to know how Archon Command Callers work, but I have read about the side effects. According to the archives, they effectively lobotomize the Archon while instilling a pervasive endless rage. And the progeny actually wanted to deploy these in the city. Okay, we captured 8. 16 killed. So guaranteed extra 20 intel. Take a look and see how crazy the city gets once this mission's done. I think that's the second story mission, I think, for the progeny. Second or third. So probably at least one more, probably more like two more. So minus two unrest, 70 credits, 20 illyrium. 20 extra intel. So actually we got everything. So unrest reduced, cash, illyrium, extra illyrium, and intel. Okay, we must have done that because we've got uh, lower to zero, lower to zero, lower to one, lower to one. I can't scroll this anymore though. So completed humanitarian aid. We'll take a look at those two areas that were maxed out and see if they dropped though. So from the archives, of all the species that suffered at the hands of the elders, none were treated as poorly as the creatures we now call archons. Locked in a psionic cage within artificial shells, these creatures were kept in a perpetual state of psyche-destroying pain, a pain that only lessened when they performed actions that suited their advent masters. You can't call something that abhorrent conditioning. It was cruelty bordering on hatred. From Crimes of the Elders. That would actually be kind of interesting if they had more blurbs and stuff on the other species. Outstanding. City 31's Archons are no longer in danger of progeny domination. Okay, choose next operation. So, initially I thought we'd be canceling whatever dark event. It basically we're getting whatever dark event. So I'm just going to look at the dark events first. Progeny ha operatives have woven their psionic energies into increased armor. The progeny can muster highly trained codex infiltration experts. I don't like the codex as much. I think I'd rather let them have additional armor. Because I've got acid grenades. Um, I've got a frag grenade we're toting around. I've got armor piercing rounds on... Verge, at least. That would be nice to pick up more AP rounds. So this would be Disrupt the Psionic Relay. The Progeny uses Psionic Relays to coordinate their forces, but that's impossible without serious automation. They must rely on modified Advent Tech to pull this off. Locate and confiscate it to disrupt their operations. The other one would be Freeze their finances. Until we have a global financial system, City 31 requires hard currency. Fortunately, so does the Progeny. We believe they're nearly out of money. Discover how they plan to replenish it. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the regular dudes having extra armor. Although it depends. I'm hoping it's like one point of armor, rather than dealing with codexes. Codexes are kind of a pain. 
If it's like two or three points of armor, this could be really bad. But that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, so we already have thralls are tougher. Acolytes and sorcerers are around. And it's not even showing the new one, the armor one. So we just read this. Yeah, so it goes one, two, three. Maybe we've done four. We don't even know who the leadership is yet. I'm kind of expecting it to be somewhat tied to the Templars or something. Okay, I don't see a lot of red on the city map, so that's good. Spec Ops is complete. Thank you very much, Cherub. Two agents idle. So let me take a quick look at Cherub's training. What can I do for you? Mobility. Return fire is actually pretty decent. The progeny uses psionic relays to coordinate their forces, but that's impossible without serious automation. They must rely on modified advent tech to pull this off. Locate and confiscate it to disrupt their operations. Okay. So yeah, these did drop by one from that action, so that did cause them to not be crazy anymore. Wow, that's 11 days. So that's going to tick along for quite a while unless we speed it up. Um, so this is at zero. That's going to go to three. That's at one. That'll go to four. So whichever one we don't do isn't going to freak out. I do have the ability to freeze somewhere, so probably whichever one I don't do will freeze. Um, these both being high up is a bit of a problem if other missions pop up. We might end up with multiple areas that are freaking out. But we've only got one city anarchy, and in three days I'll be able to drop that down by one. Most areas are pretty clear, so I think we're doing pretty well. What I probably will do is we'll just throw chair back in, or Zephyr, actually, at if I have a mission where I've got a VIP I've got to save, Cherub is really, really helpful because I can drop a shield on the VIP. So maybe we'll have Zephyr actually do that. And we'll do another humanitarian aid because by the time it ticks around, there probably will be a lot of unrest all over the city. Yeah, let's do that. It takes quite a while for that to tick along. So we've got Cherub free as a backup, just in case we need it. So we can swap out maybe Torque for Cherub. And that way, if we do have a VIP, we can drop shields on him and stuff. It's nice to have the shields. I do like Cherub, but I feel like Torque is a little bit better. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. So this has been more XCOM Chimera Squad. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. It seems like we're getting closer to the end of this particular investigation. I'm not sure if we'll have another one about Atlas as it goes through. Um... Yeah, we kind of see how much more content there is to this, considering this was just sort of a, a cheap little freebie. Well, not freebie, but cheap little add-on that is actually cheaper than some of the DLC for XCOM 2. Um, when it came out, this was only 10 bucks, So I was like, yeah, for 10 bucks, it's about DLC price. And, uh, you know, for playing as the aliens, it's kind of cool. Um, I actually am enjoying it more than I expected, but it took a little while to actually get some different characters with different abilities, although it definitely feels like it's a bit of a budget title with the uh, assets from XCOM just kind of cycled over. Anyway, I've been Disturbing Puppet. This has been XCOM Chimera Squad. Thanks for coming by. I'll see you again. Have a good one.